Okay, we're going to create a custom line style that we can use for our sewer lines. Similar to this one you see here with the C and T embedded in it. I believe that's for cable and telephone. Yeah, there it is. We'll create one with a little sewer manhole symbol. So just come up here to Element, Line Styles, Edit, and click on Edit, Create, name and we'll name it appropriately enough sewer and now come up to edit create stroke pattern and we'll name that sewer stroke and this particular line style will have two segments to it so come down here and click the add button twice and here's your two different segments. Click on the left one, the first one. This will be a fixed line, a line of fixed length. Let's say 12. Change the stroke type to dash and then click on the second segment. That will be a gap of fixed length. Uh, let's say 4. And there's our stroke pattern. Now let's come up here, click on Edit, Create, Point, and that's going to be our little manhole symbol. And let's name that Sewer Point, appropriately enough. And before we create that, let's select our base stroke pattern that we're going to add our symbol to. Come over here, select your stroke pattern, click OK and now we're going to create our little manhole symbol so let's come down to our text editor and let's use a size of one justification center center and let's choose uh, engineering font let's type a capital S for sewer and we'll stick that right out here close that out and now let's draw a circle around that to represent a manhole. Let me turn on my snaps and I'll use my center snap. Let me use a radius of 1. And I'll snap to the center of that. And there we go. There's our little sewer manhole symbol. Now basically we have to create a cell out of that. So go ahead and highlight that. And then come over here to your define cell origin and snap to the center to define the cell and now come back to your line style editor dialog and select create and we'll name that S click OK and replace existing symbol and there must already be one in there let's overwrite whatever it is okay now here's our base stroke pattern click on this second segment here and then come down here to select Choose your point symbol, the S, click OK, and then it shows up here. And now, what we have to do, well, there's a few settings down here, and let's see, it looks like our defaults are OK. Let's disable the allow stretch. And now we have to link the point symbol and the stroke pattern. So what we'll do is you come up here to Edit, Create, Compound, and we'll name that sewer compound appropriately enough and then come down here to the insert button click that and let's select our two segments we need our stroke pattern and our point so there's our stroke pattern we'll click OK and come down here again and where's our sewer point symbol select that click OK and then select edit link and now make sure that you have your name selected in this left side and the your compound component selected over here before you select the edit link. They're usually selected together by default but if not make sure you select them. Go to edit, link, and now 
the two are linked and you can see a preview of your line style down here and now you just want to save it. Go to file, save. Let's close that out and uh, let's draw a line. Oh, let's select our sewer. Let's draw a line and there we go. There's our custom line style to represent our sewer line.